The Fort Worth Zoo released dozens of rare snakes into the wild. The zoo hatched and raised 55 endangered Louisiana pine snakes, then released them into their native habitat in Louisiana. The zoo calls it a big success. Fox 4's Dion Anglin reports from Fort Worth. Hi, Hi Dion. Hi there. Hi there, Steve. Well, the Louisiana pine snake right now is considered threatened. And this awesome work going on here is to prevent it from becoming an endangered species. Hi, sweetheart. A few minutes oh outside goodness. her comfy underground like oh habitat. Um, she's just exploring this. And I was almost um, ready to pet this Louisiana pine snake until. Now, will she bite? Um, if I do the wrong thing, she will absolutely bite me. They're not our pets. Um, yeah, I declined. But more importantly, there is so much more to know about this very rare reptile. The rarest snake in North America. The Louisiana pine snake is the rarest snake in North America. That's why the Fort Worth Zoo, along with several others, are working to save the species from extinction. This is video of a multi-zoo collaboration that includes breeding them, maturing their hatchlings, and releasing them. Most recently, 55 were set free at Louisiana's Kisatchee National Forest. This past Tuesday, we released both our 100th and our 150th snake. We're at 154 uh, currently. The suppression of natural forest fires has led to the loss of 90% of the Louisiana pine snake's habitat. She was a breeder for quite a few years. She's been at this zoo since 2017. So even if snakes in general are not your favorite wildlife, they may not have any commercial benefit for us specifically, but they do things like pest control for the for you know the whole world. The Louisiana pine snake, if the Fort Worth Zoo can help it, will rebound to healthy numbers. We always hear the only good snake is a dead snake. That is absolutely not true. Snakes are such an important part of the ecosystem. So many fascinating things today I learned about the Louisiana pine snake. You guys, it eats just once a week. And then from October to February, it eats nothing at all. And just so interesting. I just wasn't ready to, to touch it.